your next question was interesting. I need a little more background on this. And it was an investigation is a battle for inches, not feet, let alone miles. Yeah, this was a weird one. And I was trying to think my way how I would explain this, but often it feels like in fiction and movies and stuff that you're looking for the big sort of interview or something where someone admits everything and you get that big moment where you've solved the case or something. And that it can happen rarely does it happen but it can happen but really what it is and this is related to another point that's coming down the road work is involved in a court case of some sort so you're working for lawyers yeah just these investigations or you're trying to just get a little bit you get not the big thing from someone from a witness but they give you a little bit and it's just like a little bit of salt into the recipe of the case that you're trying to present where instead of them saying i was there and i saw it and the guy that's charged that you're working for was not the guy maybe what you want them to say is I was there and I saw it, but I hadn't been wearing my glasses that night. So I couldn't see exactly that the guy that you're representing was the guy, you know, you're just trying to muddy the, or not trying, you would like the home run, but often you're just muddying the waters a little bit. You're just adding a little bit of information each time. And it's not so much the home run where you get to the final person that says, this is what happened, blah, blah, blah. That murder happened. To, oh, that's the thing that really bugs me is when the people just give it up in the end. When someone... <laughs> At the end, just the confession, the kind of Scooby-Doo confession at the end. And that <laughs> makes it into a pretty high-minded show sometimes, like an HBO thriller thing where someone just admits it at the end. They lay it all out for everyone. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's another pet peeve of mine. 